Hey guys, welcome back to Comageddon TV, where in the month of October, all horror culture collides. Happy Halloween, everyone. Today, on another pop review, we're going to be taking a look at the Funko Pop Movies, number three, Halloween Michael Myers vinyl figure. So as I said, this is the Pop Movies. Number three, Halloween Michael Myers vinyl figure. You got a nice little window display here. Michael Myers on the front. Nice little border. Got the window on the side. You got the display side right here with some blood spatter behind him. Then the back, you got Pop Movies Halloween number three. Collect the entire line of Pop Movies super stylized vinyl figures. They'll thrill you. You got Michael there peeking out. Funko.com, 2010 Compass International Pictures, 1978 Falcon International Productions. For those of you who don't know, how the original John Carpenter's Halloween did come out back in 1978. Next year will be the 40th anniversary of Halloween. And what a fitting time because next year also... Jamie Lee Curtis will be returning to the Halloween franchise with the reboot Halloween H40. The last time we saw Jamie Lee Curtis as Laurie Strode was at the beginning of Halloween Resurrection. And before that was Halloween H20 just 20 years ago. So let's go ahead and open this pop up and take a look at Michael Myers. First things first. As with all pops, it is a clamshell. However, there are no snaps on the bottom or the top. There is also no stand, but he doesn't need one. Halloween has to be my favorite horror franchise of all time. John Carpenter took a lot of inspiration for Halloween from Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. And not just Psycho either, but other Alfred Hitchcock movies as well, such as The Rear Window, starring Jimmy Stewart. So here we have Michael Myers, mask, and unlike uh, most other pops, he does have a nose and mouth. Uh, I think they should have maybe darkened the eyes a little bit more. Because to me, this more closely resembles the H2O Michael Myers. Um, even though the hair, the hairstyle is more in line with the first Halloween film Michael Myers... However, in that film, the sideburns were removed from the uh, Captain Kirk mask. So this part should be taken out right along here. Um, the jumpsuit in the original Halloween movie, which this is from, Michael Myers actually wore a forest green jumpsuit it wasn't until the later halloween films when he started wearing the uh, blue coveralls or gray coveralls so they really need to if they're gonna produce a pop like this from a very beloved movie they really need to be a little bit more accurate uh, as you can see he does come with the bloody butcher knife uh, the paint quality control on the paint, uh, you can see some of the paint from the uh, hand bleeding off onto the knife. But overall, it's not a bad looking pop. You got some nice detail there on the coveralls, all the seams, and the elastic waistband there. Very nice. Some paint bleeding though from the coveralls down onto the boots. But overall, not bad. I just... 
and it looks like the paint bled off from the hairline here because as you can see there is the hairline um, and it doesn't really look like yeah the quality control as you can see this hairline on this side comes down to a point here whereas this one kind of comes under and it looks like part of the uh, sideburns from the Captain Kirk mask were peeled off. So this side is more screen accurate uh, than this side. Uh, Funko really needs to be more passionate about these pop, about creating these pops and seeing that quality control is the same across the board. And you got some of the uh, skin paint, skin colored paint from the uh, around the eyes bleeding off onto the black eyes themselves. Uh, at least on the one side anyway. Got the eyebrows there. Um, I, I think they should have made the eyebrows a little bit more of a neutral angle. Because that's how they are in the mask. And if you notice here, uh, completely different between the pop and the box. The box, it looks more like a chevron, like with uh, Mike, uh, Jason Voorhees' mask, where the eyebrows go. But on the pop itself, it's thin eyebrows. So I'm not sure why they uh, why they did that. Um, also, it looks like on the display side, his arm is more out to the side rather than just kind of in a neutral position. And in the movie, Michael always carried the knife. Uh, straight up he never carried it straight down like this um, unless he was going to actually stab someone in the downward uh, it was always straight on so just like with the Bob death he stabbed him straight on um, I don't think in the original Halloween there was ever a scene where he was carrying the knife like this or even stabbing in this manner so I could be wrong I could be wrong but uh, I really wish that if Funko is going to release official uh, pops based on official licensing and everything they would be a little bit more accurate with it. You know, the eyebrows, uh, the knife, the uh, hair, um, the mask, the eye holes need to needs to actually wrap around the blue or the eyeball itself rather than showing skin. Uh, if they want to leave this Michael Myers like this, then they need to promote it as an H2O Michael Myers. But then we run into the problem where in H2O, his hair is more spiky, more spiked up. Um, so yeah, their artists really need to work on staying true to the uh, design that they're given rather than taking liberties. Uh, overall, it's not a bad pop at all. Uh, I waited a long time to get this guy because I wanted to make sure uh, to do the review that I wouldn't be tempted to do the review until Halloween. And of course, with this Tuesday being Halloween and Pop Review Day, what better time than to release the Funko Pop Movies number three Halloween Michael Myers vinyl figure than on Halloween Day itself. 
I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, guys. Have a happy and safe Halloween, and I'll see you again.